when me tell him, say me not eat no fish, nah, no meat now. I when me eat them, I wonder when me nam. When me tell him, say that I'm a vegan man. Also, being a barefooter in the winter is a bit challenging, but the main thing that I do is actually to put socks on. And people think, isn't that pretty cold? And sometimes it actually is, but most of the time it's not too cold. So just, I'll put these thin socks on first. And I have them over my trousers. So that there will be no snow in here. Direct contact with snow is very cold, so you don't want to do that. This is far away from enough. So what you want to do, is you're gonna add thick socks onto that. Uh, I don't use wool anymore, uh, so it is a bit colder than it used to when I actually used real wool. But I've been trying to find some bamboo socks, and bamboo is actually known to be the best source of heat when it comes to walking bare feet. Uh, but I don't have that, and that's a problem. <laughs> uh, it's not too bad. I'll rather have bamboo socks to make sure that I won't freeze at all. And this is not enough. So you're gonna have even three pair of socks to put on. And that is certainly enough when you have one very thin sock and you have two thick socks. That actually does it. Yep, and now I'm actually ready to take you out on a journey. What I really love when I walk around in the forest is when you can find these wide open areas in the middle of bushes. Uh, this place is open but a thick bush elsewhere else. Uh, and when you go into detail and everything, you can find that when you see a beautiful photo on screen and you just zoom in on almost anything here, that could be a very good photo, such as here, or here. Now if I took pictures of this, chances are I'm going to win a photo contest. Come on fellows, let's break some laws, let's trespass. Now this place is open. I thought I saw a beautiful tree here, I'm gonna search a bit for it. No erosion at all. These tracks 
are probably just a minute old or something. Okay, I found the tree. This mon has to be saved because trees don't grow this large here because they're cut down before they are even able to grow this large. Yep, still warm. Uh, can you see the smoke coming out of that thing? There's a deer nearby here right now. I can hear it. I can't see it, but I can hear it. Where is it? The sun's getting away from the lens. It's probably over there. Been walking around for 15 minutes, and when I start stepping on something, and they hear it, they will probably just slowly move away. But if I can get that close to deer without even trying, then it's no wonder how easy that is to kill them. Natural formed places where they can hide. I'm gonna have to crawl down to get out here without having all the snow falling down on me. Uh, these places are wonderful. And I'm just surrounded by beauty. This is a spot where rabbits have been hiding under. A deer lay down here. I'm just gonna feel with my bare hand. Uh, yeah, deer hair. Uh, no, it's old. It's already frozen. I think I found. Yet another clue. Oh, this? No, 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 no. Not a chance. This is deep frozen. Do you see the lake? I'm standing on it. difference between this and a sniper tower is the species that they want to kill. Well I'm standing here and there is falling snow all over here. <laughs> you can probably hear it. Well there are two issues I want to address and one of them is when it comes to wolves. If you spot a wolf or if you spot some wolf tracks or any sign that there is a wolf, you're supposed to report it and I know why. The problem is, people will poach them because they are so afraid of their sheep. Well fortunately, if you go vegan, you don't need the sheep in the first place. And someone goes like, oh that wolf killed my sheep. Well guess what, you were supposed to kill that in two years anyways. Or maybe in a week, or maybe tomorrow, for whatever I know. The other issue that I want to address is when it comes to the deer's war running around. And I say, I want to bond with them, I want to get close to them. And they say, that's not probably a good idea because then they will be too used to people. Well, I know how it is when deer get used to people and how scary is that? Well, in, in Norway they would just run away, but here they... Yeah, but really friendly. <laughs> I don't think I'll find any deers now, but still, I got to see so much beauty from nature. While well, hunters are making it so difficult to be able to be friends with the animals because they become afraid of us. And what are you supposed to do about that? There is nothing we can do. Unless we're gonna have to stop hunting, but again hunting is not the main issue here. That's actually animal agriculture But hunting is a big part of it as well. So that has to be addressed